Welcome to another episode of Reason Explained. Today, we will discuss the concepts behind the pulverizer in Reason 6. So let's begin. The first section contains squash and dirt. Squash is compression. Turning the knob clockwise will compress your signal, and by compress, I mean it will seriously squash it. Release tells the compressor when to stop compressing the signal. Dirt is distortion. The further clockwise you turn the knob, the dirtier the signal becomes. Below dirt is tone. It's similar to a contour knob on an amp. The further clockwise it is turned, the brighter and crunchier the dirt will become. We will come back to this routing switch in a second. Next is your filter section. You have five filters to choose from here. I'm not going to go into detail here about what each filter does, but I will cover them in future tutorials. At the bottom of the filter section, you have your frequency and peak knob. Your frequency knob will select where you want the desired filter to work. Your peak knob is basically resonance. Turning it clockwise can boost the frequencies you want to filter. Now, let's go back to that routing switch. You have two different options here. Position 1 routes your signal to squash, dirt, and then filter. Selecting position 2 will send your signal to the filter section first, and then to squash, and then dirt. Okay, now let's move on to the modulation section. Here is where the pulverizer can get really fun. First up is the tremor. This is basically an LFO. Your rate knob sets the rhythm of the pulse. Clicking the sync button will sync the pulse with your tempo. You can select different waveforms that you want the LFO to have here. Clicking the spread knob will widen your LFO in the stereo field. Last, the leg knob is a way to smooth out the LFO wave. You'll notice that you have two knobs on the left and right of the tremor section. The one on the left will send your tremor to the filter section. This makes the filter wobble around your center frequency. Adjusting the knob on the right of the tremor section sends your tremor to the main volume section, making the volume wobble. Next is the follower. This acts like a compressor and has similar settings with threshold, attack, and release. But really think of it as a control that keeps everything in check. The higher the threshold, the less control the follower will have. You can manually trigger the follower with the trig button. Note that you can send the follower in two directions. The first sends it to the filter section to control your frequency range. The second knob sends your follower to the rate of the tremor section. Essentially, using these two knobs makes the follower act like a CV signal to the tremor rate and filter section. To the right of the follower is your dry and wet blend. Now, let's tab around to the back. As you can see, you have a host of CV inputs and two modulation outputs, as well as your basic audio in and outputs. What is interesting is the audio modulation input. These inputs accept an audio signal and convert it into CV, which can then be applied to the filter frequency and volume. Also, make sure you read the warning about the tremor section and leg function. Now that you have the pulverizer under control, go destroy something with it, and don't forget to subscribe.